Racial Justice Institute is a collective of attorneys from across the nation. What makes us unique is that we take more of a legal approach, understanding that that legal approach can only be successful if it's done with the community. You do take this huge problem, which is like racism, which, you know, how do you really begin to combat that? And really like sit down with a piece of paper, <laughs> with a problem in the middle, with all of these different arrows. And it's like, all right, I'm gonna look at these like four dynamics and think about like, who are the actors in these systems? Like what's your local tipping point? Like who are gonna be your partners in making sure that we are uplifting people of color? For me, being part of the Racial Justice Institute, you know, it's a very hopeful space. You know, a lot of people are in this moment where they're really questioning like, what are the right strategies? Because there are so many of us now who've graduated from different cohorts across the entire country in different practice areas, we're able to connect with each other and communicate about the work that we're doing. And so we can find more opportunities for intersectional work. It has given me a set of tools that have just sharpened my race equity work, but really my work as a legal services attorney. And so for me, even though it's an incredibly challenging place, the more challenging thing you know, for me is when you're doing just one individual case after the other. Being a community lawyer means learning when to listen. So you really have to suspend that lawyer hero ideal. It is so important to acknowledge your own implicit bias when you are doing this work. I have peers that I look up to and contact on a regular basis. I have people to call if I have challenges. So there's no better time to engage in race equity work or race justice work than today because people are paying attention. It can be very easy to get stressed out and bogged down by the work that you're doing. It feels like there are crises happening every single day and sometimes you wonder what difference does my work in one case matter when everyone else is still going to be suffering and everyone else is still going to be affected by these really racist policies. So by being able to look at it through a bigger picture lens, I'm able to see the value of my work. The work is really hard. Um, it's, it's hard to see inequities and the effect that they have on people in, in really disenfranchised and marginalized groups. And so it is, it's really difficult to do it every day and to still keep like having passion about it and still being able to give to your clients and so talking to people who get it and who support you is, is really meaningful. So we're creating a space where when we feel the most hopeless we can come together just be with each other and encourage one another and continue that shared understanding that we do have the tools to fight this, and we will. We are the movement. We are strong together. We are unapologetic about addressing race. We're the movement. We are the movement. We are the movement.